How many of you guys have improvised before? How many of you guys are completely scared of improvisation? Great, we're gonna single you guys out. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I want everybody to use your ears, use your instrument, or anything, any sound, exactly, and make it part of one voice. The idea with, with this improv session is to try to give perspective, another perspective on the joy and the, the satisfaction that comes from being part of a musical experience with your friends and your peers. We had to communicate together with, between our music and how we interact and we had to think formatively to get our music to sound well with each other and just have fun. Yeah, and we didn't have any music so you kind of got put out there and you just like, oh, oh, oh so much fun. <laughs> you, you get to be right on the spot so you get to have the anxiety of being able to come up with something new that nobody else has thought of before. The, the idea of this is not for us to all be avid improvisers and moreover, it's not necessarily to be genre specific but kind of embracing the language of music which has all these different ways of expression and especially in this context what it's like to work to make one voice or say something as a team a lot of times when when you study especially classical music it takes an intense amount of focus and um, it's very structured at times but um, if you understand that structure and work really hard at that structure, freedom is possible. Everything in life comes, it's like freedom comes from, from discipline. So what I try to do is try to do something that's a little bit different, that refreshes the palate a little bit. That kind of gets everybody out of their space and, and wiggle around a little bit and, and also maybe accidentally make some discoveries along the way. Uh, I've never done improv before, so this was a first time experience for me and I enjoyed it a lot. You're listening for the notes that are in the scale, like if they're playing a G, like if they're in the key of G, you're wanting to play the notes in that scale. So you're wanting to play the chords that go along with that scale, otherwise the notes are going to clash and it's not going to sound very good. But his upbeatness kept people involved and people want to be there more. I also know it's very vulnerable. It's, it's a vulnerable place to be, you know, especially at that age. A teenager on your instrument up in front, you know, you're completely naked. And um, so I, I do it, I, I do it so that they have a chance to actually see that they can do it and that their peers are going to be nothing but supportive and in the process kind of allow them to, to, to maybe stretch themselves a little bit further than they would on their own.